Okay, so I'm going to be explaining, at least what I understand, which is quite a bit, uh, about the Erdak moving death plane, which is kind of a headache. Um, well, this is the second attempt at recording this video because I get confused when talking and make it too long, so let's try to be concise here. So, this is Erdak, I just rest admission I can rest again. The point is, there is a death plane in the main outdoors area uh, at the end of the level um, that moves with you. Uh, so when you move, when you go to different places, the death plane will kind of follow you in the sense of the target of the teleport. So when you hit the death plane, when you drop, it will teleport you back up to a sensible place near the last place where you were. Now this makes a lot of sense in a casual playthrough because it's a very open area that you can sort of get confused to a degree. And uh, it's kind of there to prevent the player, the casual player, to, from doing things out of order and, and skipping progress and uh, having to walk in the middle of a fight because they dropped and stuff like that. Uh, but from a speedrunning point of view, and especially when you go out of bounds and kind of break it, it can be interesting. However, no one really ever understood how it worked, like the details of how to manipulate it. Now, I don't have all the information on how to manipulate it, but I have some that is very useful. And at least I can predict um, how it works in one of the most important places. And I also have a, a model of how it works that makes sense, at least for that area. So jump into it um so basically the <laughs> let's put this into context simply there's this arena right which is a little bit before the outdoors area but the thing is you can do the arena the thing is i don't even care about the arena let's let's forget about the arena for a second there's holes in the ceiling here so there's this doesn't have a ceiling and there's another one there but this one is the more interesting one. So what happens if I go in the ceiling here? Well, normally, there is a death plane that would spawn uh, right here. But now, because I just came here and I came from far, there's nothing. So what happens instead is you lose control of the layer, see? And you drop infinitely. Now if I load checkpoint here, and I do the same thing, now that I'm here... I do the same thing, then there will be a death plane, and you wouldn't guess where it will teleport me. It will teleport me to the purple ring. You'll see. Which is quite far. And I've skipped the cutscene there, in that door, which is kind of slow. And see, so this is useful already, but it gets even better. So, why did it teleport me to the purple ring? So that's it. Simply reloading checkpoint, do it. I don't think so, but maybe it does. So what if I hit checkpoint here? So I just want to hit the checkpoint and then load. I'm not sure what happens now. Actually, I haven't tried this. It might be purple ring or it might be uh, no teleport, actually. I don't think it will be anything other than purple ring. But let's try. Okay, so no death plane. Yeah, so just loading checkpoint doesn't do it, right? Now, if I so let, let's do that again. I can just so you see that clearly. I can come here. So I reset mission. I come here. I trigger the checkpoint. I will load the checkpoint. So I've loaded checkpoint. So the death plane should be there, but it's not, right? So you see, instead I just lose control of this layer, see, and there's no death plane. Now if I load checkpoint now, then there will be a death plane that will teleport me to the purple ring. And I'm going to explain why in a second, but at first I'm going to make sure that what I'm saying is true. I'm pretty sure at this point. So now I'll get to the, to the purple ring. See? So why is that? Well, basically, there's a two step state that controls this death plane. So on, on the first hand, there's a state that you said when you move around the map that says where you should be teleported. On the other hand, there's another state which is actually spawning those death planes or, or uh, changing the target of those death planes. So those two things don't always happen at the same time. Now when you're playing the game casually, most of the time they happen at the same time. For example, if you when you go to the blue ring, area 
it sets the death plane to that area and it commits that so it will automatically you don't need to reload for that death plane to be there um, but when you're in this area which is before the open area you're kind of on the edge of things so it gets glitchy and that's that's what's interesting so what's going on here is that when I go to this area I don't know oh, I don't know where exactly but I think to be sure I'd like to rub this wall basically when I am in this area I don't even need to go up there when I am in this area I've set the teleporter to purple ring but it's not committed so I've set the target to the purple ring but I haven't spawned the death plane there so the death plane isn't there but when I reload checkpoint it says okay there's a tele there should be a, a death plane there with target the purple ring so now it's spawned the death plane with target the purple ring right see okay so this gets sorry I didn't mean to that so this gets more interesting <laughs> because purple ring is nice it saves time but you can actually get to orange ring which is the other side of the map and is pretty awesome saves a lot of time so how do you do that well you just do the fight one way or another <laughs> need to kill the buff totem you can come to this area it doesn't matter so right now it's set to purple ring so if I reload now it will teleport to purple ring but instead what I'm gonna do is progress normally then get the weapon points and reload here now something about what I did, I don't know exactly what I did, I don't know if it's triggering the checkpoint or reloading or what but something about what I did now the teleport, the, the death plane is set to orange ring so if I come here and do the thing you can actually see that geometry renders differently I think it has to do with that but maybe not directly now I am all the way across the map in the fucking orange ring which is really nice because the only thing you need in this whole area in 100% unrestricted is mainly used for 100% or uh, ace or all collectibles unrestricted or limited it's not for any percent and not for restricted because if you cannot go out of bounds you can't really manipulate it I don't think at least not that we know of not that I know of so the only thing that we want from this area is this secret anything else we don't care we don't need to hit the button well, we don't need to get anything else so you can teleport there and then do this whole area backwards uh, so you can actually despawn the arena from in there do the arena then go there to the secret encounter the other encounter there whatever and then come back to the area so you need to go back but you have saved the whole going forward uh, which is quite a bit it's a lot of distance that you save now what would be ideal is to be able to use use it for orange ring and then purple ring or purple ring and then orange ring but I haven't found a way to do that so if you set it to purple ring so let's say I do that right so instead of um, going to orange ring I actually skip that, that um, uh, the the checkpoint there. I just come here. I I kill stuff. Let's say I finish the arena. It doesn't matter. That that's irrelevant. I set it to purple. I load checkpoint. Now I go here. And I go to purple. Right. And now I do the arena or whatever, I do other stuff here, whatever, and then I say, okay, now that I've done this area, I want to go to purple ring. You can actually get to that death plane from here, it's pretty easy. Um, over here. This is the same death plane, just from a different angle, but it's exactly the same place. But it's a nice teleporting me to purple. So... I would like to set it to orange so I after doing this whole area go back and set it to orange and I thought you could do that by actually because you can actually drop here and trigger that checkpoint from out of bounds am I right? yeah it's here so you can trigger this checkpoint here and I thought this would do it but no 
maybe now it does because I haven't actually killed. But if you if you finish the arena, it won't. Maybe now it will work, but I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. I know if you finish the arena and you save you save take points around that area, you, when you come back, uh, it will always return you to either purple or blue or something like that, but never orange. At least not that I found. See, it's purple. Because I've been here for race set to purple. So when it's set to purple, you can't return it to orange even if you trigger that checkpoint. Now don't ask me why. I don't get it. Um, I don't know what exactly sets it to orange. I know that it's set to orange when you reload that checkpoint normally, but I'm not sure what exactly it is. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So, I cannot go to purple then orange. Actually, I'm gonna try. I know I've tried killing the Baron, so that wasn't it. Maybe it's this puncher here. That would be funny. So happy to reload now. Let me see. So I'm mumbling a little bit again, but let's, I just finish this and then keep going. I just get ideas while recording and I have to try them. But I don't think it's worth it. It will be purple again, I think. Oh, it's orange. So it's the puncher. Okay, so you can do purple and then orange. That's amazing, honestly. <laughs> like, so you can do, go to purple first, then trigger the checkpoint, then come to orange, do stuff there in orange. And you don't need to traverse to, um, to purple. You need to traverse from purple. I don't need to traverse. To orange, but you need to traverse from orange. But that's about half of those traversals, which are the longest traversals in Erdak that you've basically saved. Also, the spot that it leaves you both in orange and purple are very good. Like they, they are like um, close to where you want to be. So yes, yeah, so just that's that's how you manipulate it. So it seems like what triggers the the um, orange ring is the puncher, or at least maybe maybe it's just this area up here, like being up here. Maybe you don't need to even punch. So when you get here, you said orange, but of course you need to reload. And when you said here, you said purple, but if you need to reload. And that's how you unlock the real fast travel in Erdak. Is there something else I want to say? Um. Oh yeah, the only thing I wanted to say, the only thing, other thing I wanted to say is that another idea would be even better. Is if we you could from orange while you're in orange manipulate it so that the death plane there would teleport you back to purple or blue or something. Um, so you know, so when you get here, for example, if you if you drop here, now you drop, it will teleport you back up there, right? So it would be awesome if there was a way to manipulate it from here to teleport you to purple. Now I haven't found any, and I don't think there's many because this area is kind of the big outdoors area and it's pretty well done like how you how it chases you when you're in this area so i think the only reason you can do it from back there is because you're going out of bounds to the death plane before you're even in the outdoors area and i think that's what uh glitches it but as an idea it would be cool either way it's a really nice uh thing because you skip that cutscene before the blue ring you skip the traversal to purple ring and you skip the traversal to the orange ring so that's pretty nice and you know how to control it and how to predict it, which was the most difficult part for me. I didn't understand how it worked until I, I managed to get that it was a two-level state that you need to reload checkpoint after being in certain places for it to work. So yeah, hopefully that's useful.